What's up, everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution, where we talk about everything under the moon in the crypto universe. Guys, today we're going to be talking about Trip and Ape Tribe. Now, I'm recording this video on Sunday, June 26th, but this will be posted Monday, June 27th. And that is because on Monday, the day that you're watching this video, I'm going to be interviewing the founder of Trip and Ape Tribe, Lysergic himself. And I do look forward to sharing that interview with you guys. It's going to be different from most voice chats or discords or any other Twitter spaces that you've heard out there as this is going to be something that I personally feel very, very passionate about, but also curious with the roadmap ahead. So with that said, guys, in this video, throughout the entirety, we're going to be explaining a whole bunch of different things. So this may be lengthy, but we're going to be talking about the recent pump that just happened with Trip and Ape Tribe. We're going to look towards the charts. Then we're going to turn towards the community and what they've been doing recently in terms of this new trend that's been going on. Plus, we're going to be talking about staking and how that has been given holders access to have airdrops of these tokens that will get you a specific NFT. Then after that, we're going to follow up with the roadmap of what Trip and Ape Tribe had just released. Now, this is a miniature roadmap, but we're going to dive deep into it in this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to join our Patreon page. And most importantly, please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below. I'll never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email. So please be careful and invest safely. So let's get right into the video because we need to speed up. It's so much to cover. So let's go ahead and talk about number one. This is my new uh, Trip and Ape Tribe NFT. This is amazing. Again, there's something that I love about the crown. It's one of my favorite traits, but this is definitely something that I think is a great collection to have if you're looking to acquire anything with cool uh, crowns, rarity traits on their head. But with that said, I want to share with you guys in this recent post that I had about this purchase, which is the rule of three. And what is the rule of three? Well, here's an example. So when you go to the market, you may be wondering like, okay, how many apes do I need to own? And there are some people who just want to own one, but some people want to own two or three or more. But what is one of the most common practices within NFT collections? Well, there has been something called the rule of three. Now, this is just in my own opinion, not financial advice. Now, the rule of three means a whole bunch of different things to many different people, but in my perspective, this is what the rule of three means. You will have three NFTs of Trip and Ape Tribe. Now, the third one is going to be one that you're going to take profit in because, again, we're in this game to adore the art, but also to have great investments, to have great return on investments, most importantly, so that you can pass on your ape to someone else who really loves it more than you do and that you are just kind of done appreciating it. Who knows? But that's just your third piece. Well, guess what? If you have a third piece, you could sell it wherever you want as long as you're in profit. Again, a lot of these projects, you never know if they're going to go down to zero, but Trip and Tribe, to me, has proven to be a blue chip. So that's that's your third one. You can take profit whenever you want, and at least you uh, have some more Solana in your bag. Now, the second ape is more of a longer term play. You're not just looking within you know a few weeks to a month or three months. You're looking more towards the year ahead. This year ahead, the profits could be substantial or they could plummet depending on the market. You never know. But if you really believe in the project, you believe that it's going to go up to 100 Solana, say, for instance. Well, having one that you have as your second is great to take profits around that time. Right. So that's the second one, I believe, is its purpose. And the number one thing, the number one NFT out of your three, and we call that the forever ape. This is the ape that you just refuse to sell. You have a complete connection with it. The, the artwork connects with you and also maybe the traits really attract you. But just overall, it just seems like the rarity of it is just limited. So you want to keep it. You want to hold on to it. And it's going to be that one NFT where you got to like beg yourself to want to sell it if you ever decide to. Like you just can't push the, the sell now button. But who knows, maybe a lot like 10 years down the road that Trip and Ape Tribe is around based on the amount of money that they've put in their treasury and stored it in safekeeping USDC and USD. Well, that is something that maybe you want to take profit in around that time. And that makes sense because you're like, you know what? I'm like 50 years old and I just want to move on and just maybe pass this on to some younger generation that wants to appreciate this more and seek the benefits from it. So that's the rule of three, the third one, the second one, and the first one. Now that's my personal perspective, but if you have a different one, I'd love to hear it down in the comments and what you think the rule of three means. So next up, now in this video, we're going to show you that happened recently with the announcement of Solana Mobile at a Solana Convention Center. Now in this video, they were demonstrating simply that their Solana Mobile phone that's going to come out is going to have easy interface. It's going to allow you to work around this project. And what did they have here in their demonstration while using Magic Eden on their Solana Mobile phone? They bought a trip and ape. 
And this is the reason I'm sharing this with you. It may be silly, but there are many demonstrations out there that show you that people are using these trip and apes. Say for instance, Magic Eden has done a video demonstrating their multi-buy option under one transaction. And that was done with like four different apes. That was amazing. But again, they're demonstrating, but accumulating at the same time. Solana Mobile is doing the exact same thing. Yes, this is a demonstration, but they could have chosen any other NFT collection. But why do they choose trip and ape? Because they know Galaxy Crown in this fur, it's amazing. That's gonna grow in value over time. So why not just use it as an example to demonstrate to people this is what we actually did. So that's really cool. So next up, let's go ahead and go into charts. And this is something that was recorded again on Sunday. The price is definitely different from now. So as you can see here, we're at a floor price of around 21 Solana. Now, what you've noticed over the weekend is that we went from 18 all the way up to 25 in that recent pump. But also the D listings went from above 500. What the time I saw this, it was at 540. And then within 24 hours, it dropped as low as 419 NFTs listed on the floor. That's like a amazing, amazing buy order, but a loss of amazing, amazing D listing of anything. But as you can see here, it's taken a slight dip after that. Now, when we see huge pumps like this, we see people buying in at the top and then a panic sell on the way down to the bottom. But also there are NFT enthusiasts out there, hardcore collectors of Trip and Ape that accumulate during those times. That's why you see these green candles. But now we're forming a higher low, if you notice this in this charting. So now we're starting to build a new trend within Trip and Ape Tribe. So whenever you see volatility in the market with Trip and Ape Tribe, and you're seeing it, the floor price fluctuate from 18 to 25 or 30, well, that's actually quite healthy. That's almost like how cryptocurrency is, right? We see that there's new buy-in orders. We see that there's a new hype. And now this has been invigorated, but let's not ignore that something, somebody or a group of people saw major opportunity here. And there's something happening behind the scenes that we do not know. And that's something for you all to think about because who knows how bullish that may be. Now, next in this chart, we're gonna to go to Hello Moon. Now, Hello Moon is actually a great chart to show you who's actually buying and selling these NFTs. And they actually show you the users who are buying it and selling these NFTs. And as you can see here, this is a great tool to track who, whose profile picture is selling what within Trip and Ape NFTs. You know, if they just are doing it to flip it or they just accumulated, you know, way early in time. But this is just a great website if you want to find out which influencer, say for instance, is buying and selling. You can even spy on me if you feel like it. But here we go. This is what's really cool that's been happening within the cult. Uh, sorry, we're not a cult, we're a tribe. We see people all around the world writing cult in their hands and scratching it off because we are a tribe. And this has become a new trend. And there are a few favorites out there that I've been really digging. Now, this is really cool. This is uh, Madness. And if you haven't seen this video, definitely go to her Twitter page, subscribe, support her. But she was saying, not a cult. Exactly. I mean, this is adorable. We bring family in. And I'm telling you, like all walks of life and even the smallest of people, these, this cute kid is being a part of this. So thank you so much for sharing that video with us and the community. And then we also have uh, BM Green 9. Now he shared this really unique video of his dog. First of all, there's so many things I want to say in this video, <laughs> in this one shot, because I'm asking like, how did the dog wear the sunglasses? Like, how did that happen? And number two, how is the dog doing? We have a cone on the dog's neck. Is he okay? And then third is, how did you get this dog to stick this piece of paper <laughs> in his cone to have it displayed like this? This is like one of my favorites, but uh, great, great creativity, great creativity. And then next up, we also have uh, Firkin who posted this while he was on the road because I guess like you have to pull over and just show people like, hey, like I can't time out from Turpin 8. Like this community is so active. I got to be a part of it. And as you can see here, he's driving in a really wonderful location. So I hope your road trip was awesome, brother. Uh, thank you for sharing your photo. And then we also have uh, Felipe. Now, Felipe did a different one where he didn't write it on his palm, but he wrote it on his fist, which I thought was really creative. And this is his setup, love it. Thank you for sharing your photo. And also this was one of the most creative ones. KP shared that he built up these chips to create this. Now, this is like on the next level creative, I have to say. Uh, he could have simply wrote it down in his pen, but he really took time to create this uh, artistic, I would say, artwork that he's created. So thank you so much, KP, for sharing that. And then not only that, I did not know how dedicated he was. And if you see here, he's actually doing this in this clay uh, pottery form in some way. Well, it's not a pot, but he actually got this done 
by hand. I mean, this is like a trip and ape written all over it to me. And then we also have a shout out to Arthur who created a soundtrack that was kind of like an homage to the Trip and Ape community and the crew. So guys, you have to watch this. You have to also listen to the music. It's actually quite an awesome anthem in my opinion. Now I started this one thing on my Twitter page, which was, you know, trying to figure out all these different codes. As you can see, uh, we're trying to figure out what are the clues that Charles, the tribe leader, is giving to us. And it's written down on his notes, but also importantly, it was written down, say for instance, on this napkin, that Tony Wu had posted from his experience at the Dijon Yacht Party that Trip and Ape threw. And in black light, you could see the word Lady Nine. And as you can see here, I was compiling that in this one to 11 number. But also the community started becoming really active in it, saying, uh, giving all these different clues, saying number three is robust, number five is delay. And we also have people even messaging me privately telling me these codes, but I will try to do my best to share this with you guys because again, we're all this, this together, but do subscribe to our Twitter and the links in the description. Now let's go ahead and do an update. So my last video uh, on, I think it was on Thursday or Friday, was about the DJ and Yacht party, and it was around 76% that we were staking, and it increased to 78% in that time frame. That is astonishing. The numbers I'm saying are growing, and it's not stopping anytime soon, over and over. I'm staking all of my NFTs, which is one of the best ways to accumulate tribe tokens, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Now, this percentage increased over time too. When I did my last video, we were at, I believe, 36% believe it or not, and then we have now increased to 39%. These are the people locking for three months, 90 days. So as you can see here, that number is growing more and more. It's not stopping anytime soon. Now what's really cool here is that you can have staked your airdropped spores or choral segments into the meadow. It was airdropped to people who had NFTs of the trip and ape. But in order to plant these, spores into the ground to grow them on different degrees, different levels, you had to have tribe tokens. Again, that's why you have to stake your NFTs to get tribe tokens. To, then you can use those tribe tokens to then plant these. Well, guess what? 20 hours from now, I'll have these ungrown. I can root them out. And also, most likely, I'm going to stake them for longer. And I'm going to stake them for much faster. I chose a six day route, which was, I think, around 40 tokens of tribe, but I'm not so sure, give or take. But in reward of that, People were then gifted after they had uprooted and harvested their mushrooms, these. So when you get your mushrooms harvested and removed from the ground, you were then able to claim additional mushroom tokens. Remember, different from tribe tokens. They were given mushroom tokens. And you could use those mushroom tokens to get and mint these massive mushrooms. Now, we don't know what this means, but maybe we'll find out in a little bit. On the secondary market, these mushrooms are sharing the same page as the old previous mushrooms that we were growing. So as you can see, the floor is one Solana. Now you could buy this on the secondary market if you so choose to. We want to understand that these mushrooms could potentially lead in something and it could be maybe given some clarity over what these uh, documents have been released by Trip New Tribe. Now these documents is kind of a roadmap, not a official roadmap, but it's going to show you the business development plan. And there's a few things that caught my eye in here, and I'll share those with you right now. In the mission strategy and objectives, they talk about so many different things about establishing the company and building the next wave of Web3. But number one thing that really caught my eye in this was number one, create immediate value for tat holders. And then number two, number three, they both said generate external revenue. Now, what I love about this section is that it's talking about bringing value to you as the holder, that you should get something out of this by holding it because you've been so committed to us. They can recognize that you've committed your time, you've committed money into this company, into this NFT, into the founders, and they want to give back as much as possible so that you have value to tell that this is a memorable experience for you, that you will walk away saying that Trip and Ape changed my life. Now in this slide, we have strategic pillar one. And what I love, and just to sum everything in here, is that we are going to be going through a storyline, a journey to ascension, quote unquote. It's gonna be an on-chain quest. It will be entertaining and will also be parallel to a lot of different things that are gonna be happening within our holders and the storyline that we're gonna be playing out. Certain Easter eggs are gonna be pulled out, but there will also be some requirements in order for us to ascend our apes. I really believe that something's gonna happen with our apes. They aren't just gonna stay the way that they are. There's going to be something happening to them to take them on, on this next level. And this is the road to Valhalla. 
Most importantly, we already talked about events like such as the DJ and Yacht Party that happened last week, but they also state in here that they're going to continue pushing the limits on developing the most unique experiences for their holders. And if that's how they started, I'm going to be really interested in seeing their next events. And then the next up, they also have fashion streetwear brands, which they've already proven in some shape or form, but they're also working with somebody that they can't name at this very moment that's going to push this brand, push the, even the fascist line on a whole new level. I'm actually looking forward to owning one of these and I can't wait to buy it whenever it is available. I will be representing it. And the, also the cool thing is, I think you know this, that when you rock these shirts, you're gonna be walking around and then somebody's gonna be like, hey, yo, trip and ape try. That experience right there is like priceless because you realize like someone's connecting with you because they like it too. That's the cool community aspect, the unexpected aspects. We all talk to each other online, but to walk around an event, to walk around a music event, to walk around on the street and someone's saying, hey, that's why we want to look into the fashion line and why I think Trippany Tribe's brand is actually going to stick. And it's definitely a recognizable brand, especially with all their uh, designs and logos. It's the aesthetics that count the most. And then there's so much more that which you could check in here, but I don't want to dive deep into it because there's so much that you can go and just research. But no matter what, they're trying to build Valhalla Labs and Valhalla Labs is the creation of Trip and Ape Tribe. And I do believe that they are positioned really well on this island to help its holders out tremendously. So guys, that is my video. That is a long video, I understand, but I had to share everything with you guys before I interview Lysergic. Again, let me know your thoughts down below of everything that we just covered in this video. It's a ton of stuff, but maybe I've missed something that I did not capture and maybe something that you want to share that I could put in my next video. So guys, with that said, as always, be sure to like up that button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Cryptolution. Register on our Patreon page for our insider training tips and more. And don't forget to click on the affiliates link below to receive sign up bonuses and access the Global Crypto Assets Exchange. Invest safely, and we'll see you on the next episode of Cryptolution.